Hello. Rewind. Everything's okay. I've been Anthony Tunnicliffe, Albert Lane, Marco Polo, Mr. Nice, Albie, Her Majesty's Prison Number 126593, United States Federal Prison Number 41526004, and Howard Marks. I was a physics graduate of Oxford, a philosophy graduate of Sussex, a teacher, an MI6 agent, a drug smuggler, a prisoner, a writer, a DJ. But through all these changing identities and careers, my constant aim has been to break down the frontiers and explore the world of cannabis. So jump on that bus like Reeves in speed, cause every man has one basic need. So let's use that seed like the good Lord instructed. Don't fret about the pigs, cause they all corrupted. And once I get baked, baked like a cake, I'm just like a king, and that's when I sing. Well, sitting in a jacuzzi, smoking ganja, where apparently the best coffee in the world comes from, in the Blue Mountains, uh, in Jamaica. Um, and uh, enjoying it. Oh, last night we went to uh, visit some Rastas because um, it was promised that I could have a great big puff with my chalice, um, which, which I did in the end. But for a while, I thought they were never going to pass it to me, you know, that it was uh, somewhat too impure. I <laughs> <laughs> grab the peanut butter jar with the chill and stuck it in, with the rubber tube and suck it. <laughs> but but uh, I did in the end, and it does work. Early, early Sunday morning, it was a big gun just on food. In a day, must be a big gun, leave us a me and load them down in a pot of hope. One by one, you know, to make this pipe a bubble, you have to gauge it a certain way. Right, yeah. Level of level of it, yeah. 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 So the gauge it as it going in, yeah. So, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> In the end, the Rastas couldn't get the good bomb to work properly, so we went back to using the very effective peanut butter jar. The dreads were very into the ritual surrounding the use of the herb and prayed or chanted some sort of incantation before each blast. Early, early Sunday morning, it was a pecan. They were also equally adamant about not calling marijuana anything but herb, and quoted the Bible as justification. See me what I say? We don't smoke grass and we don't smoke weed and ganja. A herb is a herb. Mm. The Bible tell you about the herb, you know, say. Every herb here you see, to your eyes and meat, you know? Mm. Yeah, and, 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 uh, that's like every uh, yeah. seed bearing. Usually when I smoke a bong, I find the most effective way, because the purpose is, of course, to get as completely stoned as you can, the most effective way to suck a huge amount into my lungs, 
keep it down there for as long as possible and exhale it slowly through the nose but to make sure that all of it, the sum have gone through that process of going down into the lungs and out through the nose to be absorbed by uh, the mucous members there. I noticed with the, with the rastas uh, smoking that an awful lot of the smoke would go in there and immediately out of the nose. Um, though some of it was definitely inhaled, but the bulk of it went out and bore a very, very spectacular effect and again very, very reverential to the herd. I'm not sure if it would get you stoned. I mean, if Bill Clinton did that, he might be able to say, you know, I smoked, but I didn't inhale. <laughs> Although still illegal, smoking ganja is a part of everyday life for most Jamaicans. Consequently, there are thousands of small, low-key ganja fields all over the island. <laughs> Some have just a few plants for private use but I just couldn't resist going into the hills to visit a bigger commercial setup. First thing I noticed, get into this ganja plantation, which this clearly is, uh, was the entire lack of hostility. The total trust extended us. The complete absence of any weapons, guns, or any of that kind of protection. We were just guided here by some very, very gentle, kind souls. Okay, we'll walk through this, a bit unsteady. Careful. Don't destroy what might be the best smoke you've ever had. In Jamaica, there's only one flowering. Uh, the difference, the immediate difference between plantation here and in Pakistan or Afghanistan is that there will be three flowerings and consequently three qualities. The first flower in being rather low in yield, but of really high quality, and so on down. Here is one flower in, I'll go for it. It's gonna happen very, very soon here. But uh, apparently some purple skunk here somewhere. Okay, this one is quite obviously purple skunk. Quite a deep purple there. Very, very sticky, indeed. This one here, called cut another strain, called cannabis. It's not uh, not as sticky, not as purple, but I don't know. Kind of the texture is uh, though it's not as sticky. There's a kind of gooey sort of feel to it. This is. Uh, I think ice, sensi, in other words, sensimilia. You know, why you have all these different types, I suppose? But I, I don't know, it's like wine in a way. I mean, some wine gets you more pissed. Some people like the taste of some wine. Uh, there's different highs within alcohol. There's a range of different highs within ganja. Um, some are more suited to some people than others. It's, it's just, just like anything. Uh, that is worthwhile. It'll have some kind of theory of aesthetics, you know, some kind of appreciation there. And um, I like purple skunk a lot. But I mean, one would hardly say no to any of these others. Ice is the one they really like. This is why you see more of ice here than anything else. These are obviously ganja, marijuana, weed. Uh, you don't get hash out of these, partly because uh, you know, it's not the right seed. Um, 